Hey everyone, what's up? In this video, you're gonna learn how to get juiced on Dragon Ball Legends. I'm gonna tell you how to farm the juice items most efficiently. So let's roll the intro and let's go. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Pomzar and today we're gonna have a look at the Legend Summerfest and how you can farm the tropical juice items most efficiently. You know that there are multiple locations where you can get them and you can buy items in the exchange shop with them such as M1, M2 tickets, you can buy skip tickets or several souls like super souls, rising souls. And there are tons of missions in collecting them. So the more you collect, the more stuff you get. Some of those things are pretty cool, like uh, Universal Space Time 14 guaranteed sparking tickets, you get a 30% M2 ticket, you get various skip tickets, training items, and so on. And uh, as you probably know by now, you can get them from adventures. And there are two places where you can get those adventures. So the first one is using uh, the new events or the redone events of Android 17 and 18. And you will get adventures taking three minutes, one hour, and three hours. The other place is PvP, and from PvP you will only get adventures that last 10 minutes, and all of those drop different amount of juices. So we're gonna have a look at this count in a sec. First off though, don't forget, if you don't already know, which you probably do, to use future characters because they boost the chances of great or huge successes by a lot. So if possible, use purple future characters like Trunks, Mai, Android 18, or Goku Black, and if you don't have any left for more adventures, so let's say you're running five slots, then use future color, uh, future characters of the highest possible level. So level 3000 will give you a higher chance than a level 300. So let's have a look at the average drop amounts that I have experienced for me. And that is um, the three minute items drop around 35 juices on average per drop. And with a great success, you get five drops. With a huge success, I think you get around seven or eight drops. 10 minutes uh, drops around 80 to 85 juices on average, one hour drops around 200, and three hours drops around 300 to maybe 315, so not that much more. So you already see that the three hour adventures are not really worth it, because if you want to maximize your output, you're gonna probably do the ones that um, drop more frequently, because minute for minute you get more juices over it. So uh, the Three hour adventures are only worth it if you're going to bed or if you know you have a ton of meetings at work or you can't really, you know, use your phone in the next three or long hours or more in order to reset your adventures. So statistically, if you would be able to reset the adventures as soon as they finish, then drop for drop the three minute adventures would give you the best bang for your buck. But I mean, come on, let's face it. Uh, who has the time for that? Especially if you have other stuff in your day, right? So. You wouldn't be able to play the game even if you would do that because PvP matches usually take longer than three minutes and it would be pretty annoying. You play one PvE mission, you go back to the adventures and uh, if you don't, you might lose some time and then already 10 minute adventures might be better for you. So that's also why I think that 10 minutes are more, much, much, much more feasible as you get some time to play, for example, PvP and farm some more of the 10 minute ones before they reset. And yeah, if you're like me, you have a job or at least some semblance of a social life, which means even 10 minutes, not always the best or the most realistic. So I would recommend then going for the one hour adventures. You can put your mind at ease, put the phone aside a little bit, uh, still get a decent amount of juices. And if you have turned on the push notifications, then you'll just get notified when your adventure is finished and you're all set. So to sum it up, if you're in the game anyway and you play pvp and have some time then go for 10 minutes because for me personally three minutes is too annoying so do the 10 minute adventures as long as you have them and uh yeah i mean with the three minute ones you might gain 10 to 15 juices per drop over the fifth over the 10 minute period but seriously it's not worth it in my opinion and uh, if it's not realistic yeah then go for one hour definitely not three hours because three hours just blocks your adventure slots forever and and it's not worth it because over three hours with the one hour adventure you get twice the amount of juices and um, you're gonna want to finish this at some point right you might want to have the GSP ticket for Universal Space Time 14 so go for that and uh, in the end it all depends on your day and your planning right plan your adventures around your day don't plan your day around your adventures and you should be fine 
I mean, since the thing started, and I'm uploading the video pretty much after recording this, so time-wise it's not a lot of difference, I'm almost at 180,000 juices, which means that I'm almost at the GSP ticket for Universal Space Time 14. And I think you should be able to finish the whole thing much quicker than the time we got to do it. So you can then focus on, I don't know, Legends Road Strongs or finishing Ginyu Force, uh, all that kind of stuff. And just, you know, do the adventures on the side. From time to time, I, I throw some skip tickets into the Android 17 or 18 events so I don't only have the 10 minutes ones because it's also a bit more tedious. You get two adventures from PvP from each game you play, unless you forfeit. And you get many more adventures from, you know, the events with using skip tickets. So it's, it's always about the mix. In the end, I hope this helped you. Let me know in the comments how you are farming the juices. And yeah, if it helped you, consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel if you're new. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a nice rest of your day. My name is Pomzor and we'll see each other in the next videos. Bye everybody.